All right, crew, today's review will be a 2021 Chevy Trailblazer RS. Brought to you by ALH Automotive LLC in the Tallahassee, Florida area, Lake Jackson to be exact. So if you can find the Lake Jackson boat ramp, you can find us here at ALH. I'll have all the information down in the description. We're gonna start out here in the front. Very familiar front end, right? Don't that this look like from right here, this angle right here, doesn't it look like a Camaro? But then you add this, this beautiful two-tone paint, gray with the red top, looks really, really cool. Out here in nature, where I love to be. We're gonna come around here to the side. You have these blacked out wheels, where they're black with silver trim. I'm saying blacked out. Whew, it's hot. The windows are blacked out, <laughs> the tent is. But anyway, here's the side profile of this beauty. Once again, out here in nature, you hear all the crickets and everything going on. As long as the gators don't come up, I think I'll be okay. But hey, if you don't see this review in a couple days, please call my phone. <laughs> anyway, we're coming around here to the back. LED turn signals back here in the back. Nice touches, like this design right here. You do have dual exhaust ports down here at the bottom. Nice touches. This does feature a three cylinder turbo engine. Something different, but sometimes different is good. Life is good, right? Come around here to the side. I just like these view lines out here with this beautiful nature in the background. Nice touches, right? Lake Jackson, Florida, ALH. In the same sentence. Here's the side profile. Once again, I'm gonna step up here a little bit closer. Love this red roof treatment. That looks really cool. That nice two-tone, that contrast between the gunmetal gray and the red. You can't beat it. So if you can't beat it, join it. Step back out. Nice touches everywhere. We're going to hop in the interior, check out a couple of touches in there, and then we'll take it for a spin. There's nature again, y'all. Come and see us. Let's go back up here and check out this front end again. I love this headlight, fog light combo, LED turn signals all the way around. Nice touches. LED fog lights, as you can see right here. It's just beautiful. Beautiful front end. Y'all hang tight. All right, crew, so let's take a look at the interior of this Trailblazer. Very nice touches all the way around. I'll go more in depth when I get ready to take it for a test drive. I just wanted to give you all a preview. Nice, nice, nice. Can you see yourself in this thing? I think you can. Check us out. Information down in the description. All right, so here's a look at the second row. You do have cup holders back here in the center console. There's a 60-40 split for these rear seats. So you get more cargo area, or if you want to fold it all the way flat, that's up to you. Plenty of leg room, as y'all can see right here. Nice view lines all the way around. Plenty of cargo space. We'll look at that here in a second. I'm going to hop in here and give you a little leg room test. Y'all hang tight. So here's the leg room test. Plenty of room back here, as y'all can see. It's a little dark, dark interior under a tree because it's so hot. Here's the view lines from back here in the back. You can see around, good viewpoints all the way around. Small A pillars, small B pillars. Like I said, we'll go more in depth from the driving position once we take it out for a spin. But I just wanted to give you the old mighty leg room test. There you go, check it out. And I stand six foot one. I'm good back here. I think you will be too. All right, crew, let's take a look at the cargo area in the Trailblazer. First things first, you can 60-40 split these seats here. So there's 60 on this side if you just want to fold that side down, 40 over here, or you can fold both down if you want the maximum cargo area back here. I'm going to pan out just a little bit. You got plenty of cargo area back here. You do have these storage cubbies on both sides. There you go right there, and there you go right there. And then you lift this up, this is where your spare tire is. Nice touches right there. You have your jack and everything there. You do have an extra tag bracket 
if you want to put a tag up on the front nice touches right there just fold that back down goes back into the floor nice touches all the way around this is a manually operated tailgate doesn't have power assistance you do have a camera right there by the way as you can see and uh nice touches all the way around look at the second row seats nice touches all the way around you see that contrast stitching in the seats very nice touches nice sport bucket seats back here what y'all think Here's another look at the front passenger compartment as you can see contrast stitching in the seats nice touches all the way around i love the red, red accents splattered throughout the cabin here nice touches there it just goes with the sporty tone of this vehicle and then you have a flat bottom steering wheel so that looks really cool too so much camaro type stuff in here it's amazing hey it is a chevrolet all right so i just want to give you all this look this thing can go off road but i imagine most of its life will be on road but yeah you can get it out there if you're an actual trailblazer Check out this trailblazer. Y'all hang tight. All right, crew, let's go ahead and take this 2021 Chevy Trailblazer out for a spin. I had to leave that AC on, boy, it was burning up. But this is push button start. As you can see, as long as you have the key in your possession, there's the push button start. Let's take a look at some of these features in the interior. First things first, I love the contrast stitching, soft touch materials here on the door panel. You do have gloss black. You will get fingerprints on that, but it still looks good. Let's look at the window controls here. The uh, driver's window is auto up and down. You have your headlight control here and your fault light control. This is full LED. So the headlights are LED, turn signals are LED, everything. Fault lights are LED, nice touches. So you sit here and you look at the gauge cluster. It does have auto start and stop. You can turn it off. I turned it off. I hate that. I don't like that feature that much. It makes me feel like the car is cutting off. You know, I'm old school. But anyway, you got your tachometer over here to the left. This is the RS model, so it is a little bit sportier. You do have this nice small diameter steering wheel with uh, contrast stitching here, red stitching here. I love the flat bottom steering wheel. You do have crash avoidance, collision alert, I mean. So you can turn that on, leave that on. You do have Bluetooth over on this side. You do have your cruise control stuff here. Back to the gauge cluster, you do have a menu right here in the, in the middle here. You can go through various menu options there. You do have the speedometer over here to the right with the coolant and over on the left to go back to the left side. You do have your fuel gauge down at the bottom right here. Nice touches. I love the dashboard design. It's flat, it's out of sight, out of mind. You do have tweeters in the A pillars, which are not that big. You have a good view of the hood out there. Nice size rear view mirror, nice size side view mirrors. You do have blind spot monitoring in both mirrors. So that's a nice touch there. Contrast stitching here on the dash. Love these red accents again. This infotainment system. Nice, 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 and super fast as you can see. Look at that, look how fast that is. You do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay built in. You do have different uh, systems that you can check up, take a look at here. Valet mode, teen mode, that's pretty cool. Maybe it cuts down on the power or something for the teens. You do have full Bluetooth, like I said, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I lost my thought for a second. But you also do have regular buttons. I like that as well. And it sounds good. Okay, down here, you have air conditioning controls. The front seats are heated. Automatic climate control, nice touches here. Down here, you have plenty of storage right here. You do have an old cigarette lighter. You do have USB ports and auxiliary ports. I like this red trim once again. Here's your transmission selector. Nice touches there. No paddle shifters, but this does have the 1.3 liter three cylinder turbo engine. So we'll give you a perspective of that here in a minute. I like the feel of the shifter. You do have manual capabilities here on the side. Nice touches there. Auto off, auto start stop is off. I turned it off. You do have lane assistance. You can turn the traction control off. You do have a sport mode. It gives you the little racing flag and then you have a snow mode for extra traction. Cup holders right here, more storage right here. You do have this deep center console right here. Nice touches. Got a intermediate soft materials on there. It's not leather, but it's, it's good stuff. 
You do have contrast stitching on these seats. They feel good. They have nice size bolsters on them. You do have storage here in the door panels, as y'all can see, for like a, like a cup of coffee mug. Nice touches right there. Once again, the view lines all the way around are super, super good. The visibility out front is good. Visibility over the shoulders is good. V pillars are small. You do have adjustable seat belt height right here. Push that up, down. Nice touches. Y'all hang tight. We're going to get ready to take a spin. All right, I am back. So first things first, smooth operation of the three cylinder engine. I've driven one of these before, but we're gonna take another one out for a spin. Nice touches. This is a virtual test drive by ALH Automotive. Let you see what you can get. You can check out the website for easy financing options and all that good stuff. You do have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Forgot to show you that. So you just pull this little handle up, down, front, back, to the side, to the side, now slide. Okay, that's old school, y'all don't know about that. But anyway, we are gonna take it down here and give it a spin. Do a U-turn test so I can show you how this thing will feel in town. And then we'll also give it an acceleration test and a braking test. Here we go. A Little bit of traffic on this beautiful weekend day. Hope y'all having a good day, which will lead to a good evening, which will lead to a good night. And then we'll do it all over again. And you guys have a great morning. So the operation of the three cylinder turbo, I, I had to get used to saying that, is smooth, effortless. Let's go ahead and put it down in sport. So what that does when you drop it down in sport, it actually uh, lags the transmission a little bit, gets you up in higher RPMs, which with a turbo engine will help get it up in boot higher boost so you get more power. Nice touches, it'll actually burn a little bit more fuel, of course, but this thing's economy, economical either way, so can't beat it. Brake test, feels good, nice firm brake pedal. Linear deacceleration, U-turn test, Good, it turns in one lane. Give it a little acceleration test. Nice touch of that lady thought I was crazy. <laughs> Looking like off. <laughs> but anyway, acceleration is smooth and effortless. It's good touches all the way around. This one has 20,000 miles on the clock. So it is brand new. Come and be the official second owner of this beauty. It's one owner, Carfax dealership, Carfax certified. Nice touches all the way around. How does it feel out here? This has a very flat ride. It's not firm, it's not overbearing. I would just call it flat, but it feels controlled. The steering has a nice weighted feel to it, which is always good to inspire confidence when you're driving straight. And around the twisty bends, nice touches, you can't beat it. I love the visibility out of here. It's just easy to see, easy peasy. It's quiet, not too overbearing in here with the uh, mechanical noises. Do hear a little road noise, but not, once again, not overbearing. Wind noise is very hushed. The engine is very, very quiet. Just can't beat it. It does have an eco mode as well if you wanna go that route. Boring. But anyway, if you wanna save fuel, use the eco mode, it's on you. All right, so there's the brake test again, smooth operation there. Go ahead and give it a U-turn test again. Turns easy peasy. Give it a little acceleration test. She stands up in the front and she pulls. There's boost right there. Turbo is boosting. Oh yeah, have no fear. Chevy Trailblazer is here. So, I'll have the information for this unit down in this description, dealership information, vehicle information. Check out the virtual test drive, check, check out the uh, financing options online while you're checking this thing out online, and we'll go from there. Thank you all for watching. Until the next review, stay cool, literally. Uh, 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 uh.